What's up dear bookworms? Welcome back to Darwin the Bookworm. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be having a talk on the fifth book in the Harry Potter series and that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. check out my previous video in which I talked about the fourth book in the series. I'll link it here and here so that you guys can check them out. And well, so let's get started first with the story itself. The Triwizard Tournament has ended. Against all odds, Harry has won the Triwizard Tournament. But there's nothing to be happy about winning the Triwizard Tournament because Harry's biggest threat is back. Lord Voldemort itself is back. Well, but no one believes this and they start and they think, think that Harry is doing, telling us something which does not make sense at all. Since everyone believed that Lord Voldemort did not return. Well, let's keep this aside and let's talk about Harry. Harry is in a summer vacation and waiting for his fifth year in Hogwarts when suddenly, you know, he, but now he's back in Privet Drive. Well, not because of his own interest, but that's because of Dumbledore asked him so that he can go back to Privet Drive so that he can be safe from you know who's clutches. Besides Harry and his friends, Ron and Hermione, Dumbledore is the only person who believes that Lord Voldemort is back. Others in the wizarding world do not believe him at all. So anyway, Harry's back in Privet Drive and he's minding his own business and he's playing on a swing when Dudley and his gang of friends come. You know, you know what happens when Dudley meets Harry, right? He makes fun of Harry, he make, he talks about Harry's nightmares, he makes fun of Harry's nightmares. And well, Harry became enraged, as you guys may guess. And, and he was about to attack Dudley and was happy to even get expelled out of Hogwarts so that he can get rid of Dudley for good. Well, but before he could even attack, the weather did not give him the chance. Why, you may ask? Well, the weather was being really strange today that it was sudden, it was suddenly sunny and then suddenly, well, Harry was about to attack Dudley and suddenly the weather changed. It was becoming windy, it was becoming rainy and things like that. So Harry, so Harry did not feel that this was a good sign and he ran over to the nearest shelter found because it was raining and Dudley seeing that it was raining followed Harry. Well, this was... Actually, a really bad move on the be on behalf of Harry because the next moment you know, two Dementors up appear out of nowhere and attack Harry and Dudley. Well, Harry, knowing the Patronus charm, somehow escapes somehow escapes from the you know the Dementors clutches and also rescues Dudley from the Dementor. But Dudley is already attacked very much by the Dementor and now he he's really acting abnormal. Well, Harry, with the help of another person carry Dudley to Privet Drive when when there's another surprise awaiting. An owl comes from the Ministry of Magic and tells Harry that Harry Potter, you have been expelled from Hogwarts for doing underage wizardry. Right? Now you guys might know what my work will expect, right? Harry, Harry went in anger and bitterness to his room, closed the door and wished he never even existed. He thought he was never going to go to Hogwarts, he was never going to see his friends again and things like that. But no one gave him the chance for this. Why, you may ask, well, a group of wizards and witches named the Order of the Phoenix created by Dumbledore come to Harry's rescue. They say that Dumbledore is fighting for Harry's continuation for education in Hogwarts as well as for justice for Harry because he has been attacked by a Demeter in the Muggle world. So, so this Order of the Phoenix, which consists of Harry's lot of allies, Hagrid, Remus Lupin and Otto Weasley, Molly Weasley, Ron, Ron's mom and daddy might have guessed. They escort Harry to number 12 Grimauld Palace where Sirius Black lived as a child. Sirius Black gave this number 12 Grimauld Palace to Dumbledore after his mom passed away. So there he meets Sirius, they have a, they have a good time together and it's finally time for Harry's hearing in the Ministry of Magic. As you might have guessed, after a, lo after a lot of debates, after fudge arguing, after Harry receding for it, after Dumbledore talking about it, they declare that Harry is innocent and he can continue his fifth year in Hogwarts. You guys might guess that the fifth year of Hogwarts didn't go as well as it was planned for Harry. 
well there's a lot of things that happening most of the people don't believe that you know who exists i mean lord voldemort doesn't exist and they treat and they treat harry as if he, as if he's come to spread a rumor or anything well finally the truth is to be lord voldemort is back so guys we're done with the story of the harry potter and the order of the phoenix what next let's have some fun facts and the awards which this book got Let's get started. Guys, even talking about this book or creating content for this book was a journey. Why you guys may ask? Because this book is so long. What I just told you was not even just 5% of the story because there is so much content into the story and there's so much ground covered in the story. Well, this book is is the biggest book that's ever written in the series coming at a whopping 766 pages. There was a period of break of 2 years between the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The press were having a lot of controversy that J.K. Rowling has is facing writer's block or anything. Well, J.K. Rowling herself says that writing this book was a chore, could have been shorter. and she ran out of time and energy trying to even finish this book well but still she gave a really good story in this book as well this book got a lot of awards and recognition but i'm going to tell you the most famous achievement that this book got this book won the award of the american library association's best book award for young adults that's a huge name itself for an award guys Anyway, that was the sneak peek of the of the fifth book in the Harry Potter universe, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Really hope you enjoyed it, guys, and it was also really fun for me creating the video. And so, if you like this video, give it a like and share it with a friend whom you feel must know about, you know, the fifth book in the Harry Potter universe. And make sure you also stay tuned and subscribe so that you can keep discovering the joy in reading. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you soon with a new video. Till then, keep kindling that bookworm in you. Bye.